I'm outside the B&M plant in Portland, Maine, where they're famous for their baked beans. But they also make a Mexican food staple, Ortega refried beans. Up here in New England, baked beans are king, and those are primarily made with navy beans. But today, we're concentrating on pinto beans. The term refried beans is kind of misleading. It's actually a mistranslation of a Spanish term, frijoles refrito, which kind of means beans well fried. What we think of as refried beans are really boiled and then baked. And then some people choose to fry them at home. Mike Palmer's one of the production supervisors here. Let's start with ingredients. Number one, whole pinto beans, right? That, that's correct. And a big bag. How big? 2,000 pounds. These are whole beans, but the bulk of our frijoles will be made from beans broken at harvest called splits. The whole beans soak upstairs while the split beans blanch and then float down Bean River for a washing. This is the first stop for the beans in the cookroom. That's correct. What's going on? It's the last part of the cleaning station. We're going to take anything that's denser, will fall to the bottom, and the beans will float across the top. And anything that comes off the end of that table is ready to be cooked. It's ready to go. All right. This is the cooker. That's correct. It is hot up here. Oh, and there you go. This is all the split beans making the paste, the base of the refried beans. That's correct. Once we add the spices and the lard, they'll bring it back up to temperature, send it over to the grinder, and into the holding tank. Next, this giant food processor grinds the cooked splits. That's right. Look inside. Take a peek. And it's really chewing it up down there. Let's put the lid back on. And the ground product comes through here. That's correct. When they come out here, they're starting to look like refried beans. Now that looks like something we recognize. The only thing missing here is the uh, whole beans. Gotcha. Huh? That's spinning on here. And it's That's hot. hot. It's hot and it sticks to you and it burns. Wow. They call it napalm. The split bean mash needs the whole beans for that delicious frijoles texture. It's time to get them cooking. This is the batch that we've been working on. You can see it submerged under the water. And in this oven, they're going to be brought to a boil and then reintroduced to that split bean mash that we made. After the whole beans cook, they fall through this hole to the canning area. At this point, we really want to be careful when handling the beans. These are the whole ones, and we want to keep them as whole as possible. The whole beans mix with the split bean mash just before canning. The sealed cans lower into these huge pressure cookers. This finishes the cooking and sterilizes the contents, guaranteeing that these frijoles refritos will still be muy bueno for up to three years. 